We have some breaking news here on Chicago Bears Now. I am your host, Harrison Graham, and unfortunately, it's bad breaking news. Rookie wide receiver Daz Newsom has suffered a broken collarbone. Now, he actually uh, suffered the injury on Tuesday, but here on Wednesday is the first time the media had access uh, to Matt Nagy and the Chicago Bears, and that is when they announced the news. Now, the good news is, going to have surgery tomorrow. It was a clean break, which is actually what you want when it's a collarbone injury. It looks like it's going to be roughly an eight-week injury, but as you guys know, eight-week recovery, I should say, as you guys know, Daz Newsom, part of a pretty crowded wide receiver group and competition that is set to take place uh, coming up uh, this uh, offseason. Now, the reports coming out are that uh, should be an eight-week recovery and that he should return shortly for training camp, so hopefully that happens and hopefully he can get back into the fold sooner rather than later. What is your one-word reaction to Daz Newsom's injury news. Obviously, it's not great, but it could be worse. It's better now than to happen in the middle of training camp, for example. One word reaction to Newsom's injury. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. My one word, bummer. There's no other way around it. It'd be one thing if an established player had suffered a broken collarbone, like even a Darnell Mooney or something like that. It's like, all right, we already know what this kid can do. He'll hit the, you know, the recovery trail for a couple of months. He'll be back at, you know, early training camp and he'll be ready to rock for the season. But for a guy like Daz Newsom, a late round pick who A, has to earn a spot on this team, much less playing time, eh, you know, you get set back a couple of months. That's a big deal. You look at the wide receiver uh, depth chart right now. After Allen Robinson and Darnell Mooney, it's open season. Anthony Miller, he's going to have to earn his spot on this team. Daz Newsome, Marquise Goodwin, Demir Bird, those type of guys benefit from this. They can get more reps and they can show more opportunity or take advantage of more opportunities that, hey, we should earn a spot on this team. A guy like Riley Ridley, Javon Wims, who could be on the outside looking in, heading into training camp. Now they could get more opportunities as well. It's a bummer for Daz Newsom. I still think he will make the 53-man roster because uh, I think the Bears are excited about this kid. I think they like his upside and his speed and his versatility. But in terms of how much it could impact what his role will be as a rookie, that remains to be seen, but there's no way around it. This is a bummer for the rookie out of North Carolina. Now, who will be the Bears' number three wide receiver for the 2021 NFL season? Get your votes in on this one. Will it be Anthony Miller? Will it be Daz Newsom? Will it be someone else that uh, I'm not mentioning? Maybe a Demir Bird. Who will be the Bears' number three wide receiver this upcoming season? If it's going to be Daz Newsom, that'll be impressive because he's going to be out for about eight weeks. This is why you subscribe to Chicago Bears now, because we have breaking news, rumors, and more daily videos just for you guys. Plus, we go live every single Tuesday, 4 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Central Time. I already released a video earlier today, and I want you guys to go check it out as soon as this video is done. I explored Matt Nagy and his hot seat status heading into this year. Recent betting odds have him as one of the most likely coaches to be fired first this year. I don't necessarily agree with that. I dive into detail and give reasons why I don't believe he is or should be on the hot seat. Go find out more info on that on the on this channel, youtube.com slash bears now. Go to the videos tab. Find that video and all of our other videos here at Chicago Bears Now. All right, so there's other OTA news and notes to get into when it comes to the Chicago Bears. Started on Tuesday, it's going to run through tomorrow, and then the Bears will have another OTA session uh, later next week. So we broke down the Daz Newsome uh, injury uh, for you guys. Now let's talk a little bit uh, about the quarterbacks here. Matt Nagy has praised Justin Fields pretty much since he drafted him, and he did so again here on Wednesday uh, after uh, the Bears went through their second OTA practice here. Here's what he had to say about his rookie quarterback. Quote, all Justin wants to do right now is football. That's all he cares about. He just wants to be the best quarterback he can possibly be. He's so calm, and he has confidence in himself. That's a good trait to have because you can never get too high. You can never get too low. That's why he's had the success he has had. And he also added this note as well. Nagy said that Fields will take the number two quarterback reps behind Andy Dalton. What does that mean for Nick Foles? We'll talk about that later on in the show. But, hey, what, what can we say, right? We continue to praise Justin Fields. We continue to hear the praise from the coaches, from his teammates, from his fellow rookies. All Justin Fields is doing right now, he's putting his head down and he's grinding because, A, he has that mindset. B, he wants to start. And C, 
He's just, he's just a work hard type of kid. He has a chip on his shoulder after being the number 11 overall pick. He is approaching this exactly how you would want and expect him to as a rookie quarterback in the National Football League. Now, if you're excited to see Justin Fields play, I know I am, type me down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Just type me. Hey, if you're excited, type me down below. So let's talk about Nick Foles now, uh, something that – Became pretty obvious today, and we already knew this, but now that Matt Nagy has spoken about it, uh, Nick Foles is the odd quarterback out. We we knew this, but now it's confirmed uh, that we are actually into OTAs. Uh, he had this to say. He said he told Nick Foles that they talked, and he understands that Justin Fields will get the number two reps. Obviously, he said uh, Andy Dalton will get the number one reps. He mentioned that as well. So, look, for now, Nick Foles is the number three quarterback. His uh, main value will be, uh, you know, helping a guy like Justin out and transition to the NFL. I think the Bears want to trade Nick Foles. I think they're going to continue to try and trade Nick Foles. But until that happens, his main role and priority will be helping Justin Fields, assisting Andy Dalton, and helping out this offense in any way he can, uh, and not really much from an on-field standpoint. Because A, number three QBs don't get that many reps, and B, how rarely do we get to the third-string quarterback uh, in actual games? Very, very rarely. I doubt we see him take another snap for the Chicago Bears. Will Nick Foles get traded? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Get your votes in on this one. Y for yes, N for no. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Just to circle back to kind of the news of the day as we kind of recap these OTA news and notes. Obviously, the headliner here, Daz Newsom, broken collarbone. Injuries happen. Once you get into these offseason programs and workouts, it's just inevitable. We saw Artie Burns tear his ACL a year ago. We're all excited about Justin Fields, but I'm excited for a guy like Daz Newsom too. I hope he can get back, can get healthy, and uh, can be a full a go once training camp gets here because if he's not, that's not a great situation for a rookie, a sixth-round wide receiver trying to compete for a roster spot. I think he'll be back early in training camp, but for the beginning, we'll have to wait and see. Again, the report's roughly an eight-week injury. Before we sign off, get subscribed to Bears Now. You see the link down below. It's youtube.com slash Bears Now. We're posting videos every single day. Days like today, multiple videos. We posted one just a couple of hours ago. Again, go check out the Matt Nagy hot seat status video down in the channel. And quick reminder on this as well. We go live every single Tuesday, 4 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Central Time here on this channel. We interact with you guys. Don't miss it. If you want to be part of our live Q&As, got to join us on Tuesdays, 4 Eastern, 3 Central, here on Chicago Bears Now.